So kicking things off was the the rematch between Hangman Page and Brian Danielson. 60 minute time limit. And our judges, after all of this buildup with the judges, they were Jerry Lynn, Paul White and Mark Henry. And there was no real story to this or building to anything in the future. It was just to have three judges there if need be. And I love that Paul White and Mark Henry took the time when they were introduced to stand up and wave, not Jerry Lynn. Jerry Lynn was here to do a job. It's like, okay, you know who I am, whatever. Yeah, he's not standing up. Come on. Yeah, whatever. Um, Let's get to the match. He's too cool for that. No, he's like, yeah, I get the sense he's he's more like, uh, like, I don't want to, you know, hog the spotlight type of thing. But as soon as they announced these judges and they're just dudes that are hanging out in the back anyway, it told me immediately that they weren't going to need the judges to play a significant role in this one and that we weren't going to have to go to the judges at all. And yeah, why, why waste sort of, you know, like, I don't know. Jason Hervey or like whoever you would want to get. <laughs> yeah, big, don't, don't waste Jason Hervey. Don't throw him away. <laughs> for a big celebrity cameo if, if they weren't going to be used. I really thought we were going to get one of the Go Big Show judges to promote the show the next night. Well, they certainly had, did a lot of pro- show. Uh, that's right. That's right. And uh, <laughs> But people would have been upset at that because how how would, I don't know, T-Pain judge a wrestling match? Well, I for, for credibility's sake, but I mean, I was just looking at it strictly for the the promotion, which th- there was a lot of it on on tonight's show. So the match begins, and I don't know how much you pay attention to the graphics when they when they put the messages up, but we had Danielson, and on his graphic it read he has not been pinned or submitted in four hours of AEW <laughs> ring time. Wow, four hours awesome. this man has wrestled in AEW. Hangman Page, it read, has not won a match this year. <laughs> that's funny it's an ongoing gag that uh the graphics guy has with hangman page and i i hope we never get a payoff in that for the rest of his AEW career it's just like you know this yeah, they're funny uh danielson is running away as the match begins and page hits a suicide dive uh, but cannot hit the moonsault off the top so instead he hits danielson with an apron bomb and very early he's teasing the buckshot and danielson is evading and ends up sending page into the barricade uh page then is sent shoulder first into the post reminiscent of the first match and danielson goes after uh the shoulder he Busts open Page uh, near the steps as they go do the first picture in picture, and Page has a, a pretty, a pretty solid flow going here uh, of blood as he goes throughout the break. Danielson's targeting the cut, and the blood is getting all over Danielson. Uh, they fly over the top to the floor, and Page gets posted. They fight back, and it's uh, Brian here. Uh, sorry, Page is the one when they go to the second commercial break, he's the one doing the jumping jacks to show how fresh he is. And in all of this, Danielson has been busted open and Danielson ended up outdoing page. There was a fair amount of blood between both men, but this was, um, this was a a bath here from Danielson. Yeah. Um, you debut on a new channel and you, (laughs) you show them the type of content, um, (laughs) that the, that the channel is about well, to get welcome to TVS, <laughs> that bloody show, <laughs> that uh, bloody show. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, you know, when, when Brian first showed off his, his cut, it didn't look that bad. And then you come back from commercial and this dude like made pages cut look like a, a paper cut. It was, uh, it was the most I've seen Brian bleed in years. Like I can't, I mean, certainly not, never in the WWE have I seen him bleed this much. So, uh, yeah, it was quite the sight. Did you mean to say that Paige had a paper cut? Yeah. It's kind of clever. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. <laughs> yes, I did. I did. Did mean it. Yeah. Paige does the follow a moonsault. Uh, they move to the floor and Danielson comes off the apron and gets caught with the dead eye on the floor. And Paige sets up for the buckshot lariat. But Danielson collapses before contact can be made. And then he lures in Paige into the label lock. And this crowd, they are going nuts. It was so loud at this point in the match. Paige gets out. Hits the moonsault to the floor. Danielson then ducks a buckshot and hits the Busaiku knee for an insane near fall. It's uh, Newark deserved a round of applause here. It was so loud. 
they have this headbutt battle, but a, a very safe one as they were getting the hands up, but they were just launching their heads at one another. Rolling elbow from Danielson, and then Danielson stops the dead eye, hits the gotch pile driver, and he's pretty much going through the whole rotation of finishers that he's introduced to us over those four hours of match time. Danielson runs into a power bomb. Page is caught in a triangle. Danielson goes to the heel hook. All the different methods he's used. Breaks free. He rains down strikes on Danielson. Backdrop driver. Buckshot lariat. And he pins Brian Danielson. 29 minutes, 4 seconds in a excellent match. Absolutely fantastic match. Um, You know, there's some recency bias here. But I, I think this might have been my favorite Brian match since he's come back from to AEW. Or he since he's arrived at AEW, I should say. I think this was the culmination of a fantastic story that they built throughout all the Dark Order hometown appearances to the one hour draw. And I think, you know, like we were wondering, okay, how are they going to top a one hour draw? And they did it with blood, John. A lot of it. Um it was a really great pace throughout from the get-go. I think every single second of this was exciting. You had visually, I think, the most stunning um, of, of all the Brian matches that we've had so far. For that matter, maybe all the page matches that we've had. Uh, and it was a 30-minute match that ultimately, to me, really felt like five. You know, in terms of intensity, in terms of atmosphere. The atmosphere it, was amazing It for was this. electric, yeah. Like, the first one, like, it's... It's an accomplishment in and of itself that you hold people's attention for 60 minutes. It wasn't like they just got points for going 60. Like it was a real compelling 60. Uh, But this one, it was just, it was so intense. It had so many of the callbacks with Danielson's different finishing techniques that he was going for. I thought Paige was a phenomenal baby face. It's like sometimes you wonder if, you know, if a page is going to be able to uh, rise to the level of some of these opponents and whether it's Omega or Danielson, like we've seen it time after time, like he mm-hmm. has become such a seasoned performer um, and on the level of these guys. And yep. this, um, yeah, like you can take your pick of which match you enjoyed more, but man, was this a fantastic follow up. I, I, I just, I, I love this match. It was just, if anything, it was just so great that it was, it was kind of tough to get into anything else on this show um, because the match quality was just so through the roof with this first half hour of the show. And I, and I think, I think they kind of tried to not go out. Like we had like some quick squashes after this talking segments, like really trying to like take you on a totally different path after following this because if you had put the tag titles or the tbs match right after this it would have suffered for sure i was I, it was smart to space those out it's it's an expected challenge with any of these dynamite shows you know they they put the main event first to try to capital and it was especially important tonight on a brand new channel to get people to tune in right off the bat at the, at, at the very beginning um but yeah i i, I thought it was it was a one like they more than stuck the landing on this terrific story that they've told. And uh, what do you think is next for either of them? Uh, with Danielson, yeah, you've got to go towards the next contender. I Does think he stay that heel? It, Danielson? Mm-hmm. I, I, think, I think you do. I wouldn't want to just flip him back just because this this program is over. I think you've kind of made the, the switch. And, I mean, he does have that ability that I think you can, with with a proper heel opponent, he can shift, and as we saw with this turn, it's not like it's this abrupt change that is uh, jarring to the audience. Like it's a major change when you step back and look at it. But in real time, it was just he was just making slight alterations, and mm-hmm. it was all stuff he introduced. And if he's smart, I think he can he can weave his way between baby faces and heels, and that's his greatest value. Yeah, like if he wants the audience to cheer for him, they will cheer for him like tomorrow if they wanted to. What I do hope is that he keeps this anger and this aggression. I mean, in this match with this amount of blood and this intensity was the meanest I have seen Brian Danielson thus far in AEW. And I hope he keeps that. You know, I I don't want to see the guy pandering. I don't I don't want to really even see him doing yes chance. I don't want any of that stuff. I want this guy to still be mean and still be aggressive, especially in the matches. How about with Paige? Do you th- like where do you see him uh, going after this? It's a, it's a long time until the pay per view, which I would imagine is when you peak for his next big title defense. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, Punk and MJF, of course, are 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 both kind of vying for the championship, and I imagine their match will ultimately determine um, who faces Paige next. But 
That's where I think it's going. Like, it really seems this punk MJF. They're not going to hold that off till Revolution. Like, that seems like they're going to go with that with within Perhaps. a month or so. Yeah, and then, but you know, Paige is going to need opponents in the meantime. Um, and are there any serious challengers? Will there be any any serious opponents? Um, you know, it, is Miro ready to come back? You know, is Moxley ready to come back? I mean, there's there's a question too. Do you, do you see him defending the title on TV before the pay per view? Oh, how many weeks are we away? Like two, we got two months. Two months. Then yes, it's a long I time. Do. Yeah, I definitely do. 